So guys, in this section, uh, we are going to create one small pipeline by using GitHub and we will deploy the code onto the S3 bucket. So uh, let me show you the code. This is my GitHub repository and the code I have kept here. So this is the code. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to deploy this code on, on uh, S3 bucket and later on I'll make some changes to the code and it gets deployed to the S3 bucket automatically. I'm going, I'm going to host a static website through S3. So first of all, uh, we'll have to go to the S3 bucket and we'll create the back bucket. So, okay. So we'll create a bucket here. Bucket name I'll give you Wilson TCW hyphen destination. This is my target bucket. In this bucket, I'm going to deploy my code and uh, later on like uh, I'll just host a static website using this S3 bucket. So uh, since I'm going to host a website, I, I will allow all the traffic from public internet. I'll enable the versioning in advanced settings. Let's see whatever is there. It's fine. Okay. So we have created a bucket. Now what we are going to do is use an I am user I am role to store this. Okay, that's fine. So this bucket we have created. Now what we are going to you do is uh, we have to create first of all one pipeline. So uh, let's create it here. Just move to the code pipeline. Go to the code pipeline, just click on create pipeline. So what is the name I should give? Deploy to S3. So guys, what is this pipeline? It just so in this section, what it will do? It will just create a pipeline from GitHub to the S3 bucket. Uh, this is the artifact store. What I'm going to do, uh, I'll create one. Uh, I'll create my artifact inside a custom location. Let's create one more bucket. Uh, this bucket I'm creating to store my artifacts. Wilson TCW artifacts. Okay. We will block the public access, we'll enable the versioning, go down and create bucket. Fine. Now uh, we will check, I think we'll have to do it again. No, it's not there. Okay. So again, we will create the pipeline, click on the pipeline here. Deploy to S3. So for service role, I, I'll create new service role. Okay. Uh, the artifacts I'll store in the custom location, which is Wilson TCW artifacts. This is default. That's fine. Click on next. Source provider. Guys, what is our source? I have kept my code inside the GitHub. So I'll keep it GitHub. I'll commit, uh, I'll connect to GitHub. So it will, it will not ask password from me because I've already connected. So uh, yeah, it's, it's successfully connected to the GitHub. I'll go to the repository. What is my this one code deploy iPhone Udemy website. The branches are selected as a main branch there. I've kept all my codes and this is what is this GitHub webhooks. It says like whenever uh, whenever we will commit any changes in our GitHub account, it will automatically deploy. This is actually recommended one guys. We are not going to build any anything in this section. So we will skip the build stage. Guys, it's not necessary to keep build stage always. You can skip this one. If it is required, then only we will have to keep the build phase. Now deploy guys where we are going to deploy. We are going to deploy in S3 bucket. S3 bucket will have to select 
Wilson TCW destination. Object key will keep as it is. Extract file before deploy. The deployed artifact will be unzipped before deployment. Of course, we want the things to be unzipped. Go to additional configuration, guys. What I want on my website, it should be publicly accessible. So I have just created public read and write. No issues. Click on next. Okay, so here we can see our pipeline. Everything is fine. Looks good. GitHub. Okay. The you can see my repo is also okay. Correct. Build stage we have scapped. The destination is the S3 bucket. The destination bucket is Wilson TCW this destination. This is what we have created. Okay, great. Now create pipeline. As you can see, currently I don't have anything on this destination one just we can refresh it let the okay the pipeline has been triggered the source is, has been triggered you can see it's in the progress the source is github uh, finally you can see the deployment is also succeeded both has been succeeded we will move to the s3 bucket and as you can see we are having all the code in our s3 bucket okay so now okay sorry one thing i forgot to do that that was like to enable our like uh, to enable the website hosting the static web page hosting no issues we'll just enable it that's fine we will host a web static website Index document will be index.html. I don't have any error document, so I'll keep it also as a index.html. That's fine. Save changes. Now you should access the web page. Perfect. As you guys can see, the my web page is getting accessed. So as we so means our pipeline is working fine. Now what I'll do, I'll, I'm just going to modify, I'm just going to do some changes on this uh, uh, code and then I'm going to modify uh, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's make some change in the source file. Okay, so what change I'm going to make so that you guys can easily observe. I'll change my name where it is. Uh, okay, the cloud world I have mentioned here. I'll just bracket and i'll mention modified version 0.2 fine now i'll commit the change the change has been committed and we'll go to the pipeline as now see as you can see the source it automatically the pipeline has been triggered and it will deploy the code now okay so it will be done soon it shouldn't take much time okay fine as you can see the uh, the pipeline the deployment has been succeeded the, the deployment is successful now we will just go to our web page and we will refresh guys you can see the modification has been done on the destination so this much is for lecture we'll meet in the next section